Hi guys, I'm Patrick and today we are starting the connected nodes project. So what you want to do is open Xcode, select create a new project. We're going to use the single view application. This is going to be called connected nodes. Organization name, the identifier are not really helpful. Language, Swift. Devices we want to make it for iPads, why not? It's almost the same thing. Core data, of course, and you can leave these guys checked. So let's create a project. Make it full screen so you can see better. And there is just one thing that I wanted to tell you. So I was gaining subscribers and views while I wasn't any doing any videos which is awesome and thank you for that so I really feel that you're enjoying the tutorials that I'm making and lessons so I was thinking if you enjoy them you can share it with other with your friends who want to learn programming and this is like the perfect project to learn something connected with the web iOS and maybe Android we'll see about that so let's start this as a view controller Sure, but we have to have a table view controller. We are going to pick some stuff up. So this is going to be the beginning one. This one. So we need to create a class for it. And so this view controller, the Swift that we have here, that is going to be like the login screen. When you want, because you want to log into your account, of course. So yeah, let's see how this does loading. Okay. Go collect touch class, of course. So notes, but changes change this to table view controller. Swift language, of course. Next and create. Now what you want to do is go here, select this, select this, so select the table view, then select the I forgot how is it called. Let's see. Identity inspector and type in the custom class class node stable view controller. So now they are connected magically and this one is connected to the view controller. Simple as that. So then go back to the attributes inspector, but go to click this table view or just click here. It should do it. So we want to change something. Dynamic properties, of course. Prototype cells one. Style grouped. Why grouped? Because I like it better and we can do some headers and some cool stuff. And yeah, that should be pretty much it for now. Now let's change this height to 100. I'll just let it boot up because it takes some time because I don't have SSD on this computer and it means that simulator is going to take a while. So while it's doing its thing, we're going to go for here other Let's see how it does. Okay. Is that it? Hope we are done. Okay, so table view of cell should be row height 100. That's exactly what it should be. So now what do we want to do? Well, let's put label. Like right here. Then another one right here. is the width of this that I want maybe this wasn't so good idea 
probabilities at the both time. But so basically what you want to do is this to the right and constrain it. Basically, so you hit this button right here, want to constrain it to down and the right. So it's zero pixels to the margin, you see here, constraint margins, from margin down and the right. And then width and height are going to stay the same. We're just going to change some fonts, something like here. Font from system to custom, family is the same, and the style should be light. Now this one. constraints for it. So you just want to find the constraint for it. So you are moving and it stops here. You see I can move a little bit but it's not moving. So basically you're here stay here for the constraints. Left down right and height. And here just constraint, constraints, use the constraints, use the rest of it, so I add four constraints for every side, then font to custom, style to light, make it a little bit bigger, say it's title, here, outline, well that's not necessarily needed here but why not call it that way maybe some shared notes later we'll see about that so and here let's say time so this is the time you changed it last time so what we need to do is create a class for this cell so what you want to do is create a new class. Here you can see the view with load, registration, memory, running, number of sections, number of rows and cell for row at index path. Is it done? Not yet. Okay, so cell for row at index path. Here we have to have that new class for the cell because there is no other way we can access its properties like the, those labels that you put. So table with cell. Let's just call it not yet. And now we have to go to back to the storyboard again because we want to connect these two. So table with cell and here to identity and inspector if I'm right, then type here a note you will sell. That's right. So now Split view or whatever it's called. Standard inspector, assistant inspector, open that up. Now, automatic what? You see, when I click to the automatic, it gives me the. Something like that. Let's click here, make a. No. Let's go just to menu, connected notes, connected notes, and notes table view cell. We just want to. Control, drag them here or hold right click and drag, it's the same thing. And which one do I want to work with? Okay, that's right. So this is going to be called title label. <coughs> it's already called like that. No title. title label okay let's write here label to attach item here okay current title is here for custom okay there is something wrong with this okay this is opened that's nice realize that 
it's not stable. So, no, it will not. Hi. I don't know how it works. Anyway, we'll forget that this ever happened. So, notes title label. Notes. Author label. And notes time label. That should be good. And now one more thing. Click on the notes table view cell on the attribute inspector and the reuse identifier note cell. I'm just copy that so it's in our clipboard. So choose your views. So we should go back to this. How is it called? I don't know. Just click here. Save and click that. Okay. So here, this is going to be fun. You change the number of sections to one and number of rows to. Let's just create it. New array. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, just note. Fun note. Joke. Fun. Uh, I don't know. That's a note. I did it wrong. Hi. Funny. Joke. Here return the notes titles count. So the count let's say right here the number of elements the array stores. So this has five elements and this is going to return five. So we are going to have five rows in this table view. So the cell is going to be note cell. You should just paste what you had in your clipboard. But one thing you can do as Notes table view cell. Wow. Now we have to change some things. So, cell index is equal to index path dot row. So, index path is going to get you the rows section, the actual which row is it in order. Okay. Go to this that point. So, why am I doing this? And because you can understand it easier. So this is going to return in which row is it? Is the cell that it's requesting? You can also say section, but we don't want that. We don't want row. So cell dot notes title label is equal to notes titles cell. Now let's go into notes titles. Let's go to my catchphrase. I don't know. What can I say? I don't know. Feeling. What else? I don't have anything right now. Not the note title, but note out. Notes. Okay. What's the problem? Oh, not the label. We have to change the text of the label. So then cell dot notes author label dot text is equal to notes. Author cell index cell dot notes type time label dot text is equal to uh un un let's just leave it as that 
and let's, let's run it on our simulator. Later on we are going to be running it on my iPhone, but that's going to be later. So yeah, let's wait for it. Okay, it should be running on my iPhone. It's already compiled. Okay, and we'll deal with the user interface styling and all of that in the live stream event. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, when it's not moving, there is no separator. But I'm sure that's... Oh, I know why. Because this is zoomed. And it's one pixel, so when it's zoomed, it's not working like it should be. So you see everything is working fine. Even if I go to 75%, it should be working. No, it's not. So why is that? Because <coughs> when it's zoomed out, it has to remove some pixels. And for some reason, it comes to mind that it removed the separator between both main UIs. So yeah, that should be it for the first one. It is 15, 16 minutes. It's a lot, but... Well, we've done something. Custom cells. I think that's a pretty good thing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you subscribe and like. And don't forget to share it to other people so they can learn and tell them to subscribe so they can get notifications. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one next week. Goodbye.